the Philippines is a destination that is easy to visit multiple times due to its more than 7,000 islands. The most difficult decision you can make as a traveler is figuring out which island to visit first. The scenery in each region of the Philippines ranges from mountainous and tropical to metropolitan. You can enjoy a day of walking the historical colonial streets of the capital city of Manila or catch a rare glimpse of tiny tarsier monkeys at a private sanctuary on the island of Manila. The steep plush mountains provide unforgettable hiking experiences. Since you are surrounded by the Pacific Ocean, it's not surprising that the Philippines has some of the beaches in Asia and the scuba diving opportunities are outstanding. The Philippines is part of the Southeast Asia and yet apart from it, it is the only Southeast Asian country with no land links to a neighboring countries. Top 10 Baguio is a city tucked away in a mountainous region on Luzon Island. Though it is a city, Baguio is intimate and reminiscent of a cottage type environment. Baguio is called the city of pines for the rich pine forest and cooler temperature that surrounds it. You can explore one of many hiking and biking trails or take a round of golf at one of the resorts in the area. Baguio is unique to other destinations in the Philippines because the city is surrounded by trees and not water. 9. We have Coron Island One of the top diving destinations in the world, Coron Island is a tropical paradise with electric blue and green water that almost seems unreal. The mountainous island sits on the tip of the Palawan Island region, the westernmost section of islands in the Philippines. The island is popular for diving because of the numerous wrecks here. Many of the preserved shipwrecks are located in depths ranging from shallow water at just 3 meters to deep water at 42 meters. Some of the wrecks require more than one dive to explore due to their size but you can easily spend a week diving in this area. And we have a number 8, Sagada. One of the most unique experiences you can have in the Philippines is the northern tribal region in Sagada. Nestled in the rugged and the remote Cordillera Mountains are tribes that embrace the occasional visitor this area is a paradise for the advanced outdoor enthusiasts. The steep mountains and high elevation enhance the thrill and skill level required for outdoor adventure. One of the best places to visit in this region of the Philippines is the hanging coffins that hide deep in the mountains. It is best to connect with a local guide to take you to this incredible site because this is not a tourist area but a rather an authentic tribal region. Hiding an experience worthy of bragging rights. In 7, we have the Bao City. For a city seen outside of Manila, head to Davao City, which is a large metropolitan area. Davao City is the main city in the southern Philippine region of Mindanao. Despite its small and large population, Davao City features many natural elements, including the Eden Natural Park, Philippine Eagle Center, and the Davao Bay Walk near the sea. One of the best places to travel in Davao City is Mount Abo, the highest mountain in the Philippines. Davao City is a prime location for shopping, as there are several large malls. For a big into Davao City, history and culture, the tiny Davao Museum of History and Ethnography is worth a visit. And on number 6, we have Manila. The Philippines capital of Manila. On the island of Luzon is a bustling city with non-staff activity. Hop on board one of the colorful chimneys 
the main form of public transportation to get a taste of local life. While you visit the city's tap attractions, usually overpacked with locals, the bumpy ride through the streets of the iconic and itchy cheap or bass hybrid will be one of the highlights of your visit. Plan stops to the main part in the city and the historical St. Augustine Church that is built in the 16th century by local foods and handmade gifts at the public market of Kriabu Church where you are likely to see several thousand people to show up on Fridays for worship. Number 5. Vigan The historical city of Vigan in the northern Philippines is one of the most charming towns to visit in the Luzon region. Its culture is a fusion of Chinese and Spanish influences originating from settlers to the area. Take a ride in horse-drawn calesa through the streets and admire the colonial architecture, courtesy of the Spanish, who colonized the area in the 18th century. The best view of the area is from the Bantai Bell Tower, which is also noted landmark in the area. The Kale Prisologo Historic District is a walkable district where you will encounter many local craftsmen and see historical architecture. A visit to the St. Paul Metropolitan Cathedral is protecting and a perfect spot to sit. And people watch as you take in the local culture. Number 4 is Banawe. The rise to races of Banawe are one of the most striking things to see in the Philippines. Your most impressive view of the terraces is at sunrise, when clouds and fog lift off the mountain to reveal the intricate landscape of the terraces. The Batad Rice Terraces and the Bangaan Rice Terraces are protected UNESCO World Heritage Sites. For a deeper taste of the region, take a stroll through the Batad ethnic village or the Hiwan village to mingle with the indigenous people who farm the rice terraces. Number 3 is Cebu. The island of Cebu in the central Visayas region is considered the port to some of the best diving and snorkeling in the Philippines. If you are an underwater enthusiast, Cebu is one of your best options for excursions that get you up close to whale sharks coral reefs, and sea turtles. Some of the most spectacular scenery from the underwater near Cebu are the sea caves that attract photographers and outdoor enthusiasts looking for a unique diving and snorkeling site. The Sudla National Park, located approximately an hour from Cebu City, is a breathtaking park to explore and hike. And number two, Bohol. The island of Bohol in the Philippines' central Visayas region runs at a slower pace, and it's a destination that showcases the country's natural beauty. One of the most unique natural wonders on the island is the chocolate hills in Carmen. This UNESCO protected site is a collection of 1,200 geological formations that turn brown in the dry season, resembling a landscape of chocolate candy pieces. Bohol is a home to a family-owned sanctuary for the tiny tarsier primate, known for its large engaging eyes. For a small fee, you can take an intimate walk through the bronze and sand inches, away from the small natural mammals. And top one, we have Boracay. There is a reason that Boracay Island is considered the beach capital of the Philippines. Because there are more than 12 beaches, this tiny island in the West Visayas region is best for beach goers who are after simple relaxation in the sun or water activities. White Beach on the west side of the island is one of the best beaches in the Philippines. 
Tuka Shell Beach is on the tip of the island and is a favorite spot for shell collectors. Kagban Beach is a quiet spot which nearby cave that are rumored to still contain treasure chests. This island is known for its many resorts, so finding a place to stay is easy. For a panoramic view of the island, take a day trip to Mount Luho. It's the highest point.